Welcome to our channel Electronics on Wheel and thank you for your support. Please like, subscribe and comment if you like the content of this channel. So in last chapter we discussed about how to read the wiring diagram and few steps to diagnose the circuit. In this chapter we will take it further and we'll discuss about the around location, ground location and vehicle which is very important in terms of designing the circuit and diagnosis as well because you must be aware about your ground point if any function is not working suppose uh, you have to look, look out the ground uh, uh, as well which is you know complete your whole circuit when you have any issue so we will discuss about the uh, pickup trucks as you know so here uh, you have the pickup trucks uh, structure and we will see that how many grounds we have so as you can see there are total 10 grounds are there so you might be aware about the basic concept of grounding in vehicle if you have the question like why we have the 10 grounds not one then you need to look in the basics of grounding so i have made one video on the basics of grounding and uh, where you can see that how the grounding concept in the vehicle uh, you know functions I will give you the link of that particular video in the description box and if you know the reason of using the 10 ground points in the vehicle and you see the location also different different location so you can comment please comment in the uh, comment box what is the reason of using the different different location of grounding in your vehicle so let's start with the uh, grounding so first grounding a grounding point is e0 this is nothing but you are giving the you know grounding point uh, a, a reference you are giving so this is one e0 that is from battery to engine earthing that comes on the engine block so we will see in that location also that on which location that particular ground is coming so if you see this is the e0 let me change the color of color of this pen so that it would be more clear so if you see here this is the engine block and this is the location of e0 which is coming from battery to engine earthing then second is the even that is we are giving to the chassis earthing and this is nothing but here it will come here on this point that is chassis front lh then you have the battery to body earthing that is our e2 so e2 if you see this is the point here this is going to body so you can see here also this is how the uh, ground location are given okay this is one example of grounding location or you can say e0 e1 e2 e3 then you have the battery negative terminal that is e3 that is on battery then uh, you have e4 so what is the uh, meaning of e4 and why we are giving so this particular ground uh, ground is given for the fuel tank you have the registration lamp in the uh, back side then you have the tail lamp <coughs> so for those components we are giving these other thing e4 then you have the e6 that is for wiper motor roof lamp handbrake so of course the e6 will come in this area that is our uh, cockpit area or you can say instrument panel here the cluster area so this comes under the dash panel then you have e7 e7 is uh, you can see e7 is coming here that is the ecu earthing so ecu will be placed somewhere here in the dash and then it is giving to the nearby you know bracket issue and it is on issue bracket on the co-driver side then you have e8 that is nothing but for the starter motor earthing and it is given off on engine block then you have e9 so e8 is here e9 is alternator earthing that is of course given on alternator that is on engine block also then you have this uh, e10 that is chassis earthing that is for the rear that this is what 
here so you might be having few question like why we have the you know chassis front lh and chassis rear so it depends all the dip, uh, you know location of the components so here we are having few of the components and we are giving this e10 and here of course i have told you earlier that even if you see uh, so here we have few component that's why we are giving engine to chassis or thing so all this all depends on the number of component at that particular location and we try to give the nearby ground of so i hope you understand the concept of uh, grounding so here we are using total 10 grounding uh, grounding point in this particular type of vehicle but there might be cases where you are using many many grounded many ground location like 20 25 30 it all depends on the complexity of vehicle this is a normal you know pickup pickup truck so it has very little function or very less functions right so you can uh, you can manage with the 10 uh, uh, ground points but there might be cases where you have to use the uh, 20 ground points so depending on the how many functions you are using so i will give you some of the example if you see here this is one example of grounding battery uh, negative terminal is grounded to this body then if you see here this is uh, uh, this is your battery negative cable is going here if you see here also so here what exactly it is saying the connect connect to paint, paint scrapped area around the threaded hole on frame so in grounding there are some rules also so which are placed uh, play very vital role when you are giving the grounded uh, ground so paint scrapped area means where you do not have the paint okay the paint should be should not be on that particular stud so we call it stud if you see here uh, let me raise me so this this area where you are putting this ground this particular point is called stud and on this stud you should not have paint if you are having the paint then there is a possibility that you lose the ground or you do not have the conduction okay due to the paint so that's why many times there this is also one requirement that wherever you are putting your ground it should be scrapped okay and the paint should not be there then we will see here different type of uh, ground so you can see here this is uh, your chassis ground location then you have alternator you have your battery negative terminals okay these are the ground uh, location wherever you know it all depends on the how you have given the routing and whenever you are giving the ground you have to make sure that bigger wire should have the lesser uh, you know length yeah. because we want to keep the ohmic resistance very less then you have the this is the location for the engine ground and this is your battery negative we have already discussed this is your chassis ground so these are the different different ground location for the grounding purpose which we have discussed so whatever we were discussing about the grounding uh, location or the grounding reference like e3 so this is how in the wiring diagram will look like this so you should identify okay e3 is the what was the e3 e3 was the battery negative terminal so this is the battery negative terminal e9 what was the e9 so this was the alternator grounding uh, you know point so this is how you have to you know uh, when you are reading the wiring diagram you have to understand the wiring diagram in that particular format i hope you understand what i am trying to say here and it plays very vital role when you are diagnosing your wiring diagram or you are diagnosing any uh, any problem or any problem in the circuits okay uh, suppose some particular function is not working then you have to make sure that your grounding should be intact if it is not intact then it might be a problem because of grounding then we will see one particular case that is testing for opens in the circuit so before you begin the diagnosis and test of the system you should have one rough idea of the schematic system that what it is so i am just giving you one you know example 
so this is your battery side that is positive battery side so if i am working on the 12 volt system that then it will show the 12 volt system if it will be i am working on the cv vehicle so it will be shown the as 24 volt then you have the fuse block so after this fuse blocks you have one wire which is connected to circuit switch one which is used for the on off per, uh, or the operating the particular function then you have again one wire and you have the relay and then you have the solenoid for the starting system this is my basic function okay the basic system so now i have given few condition so i want to check the open conditions so i have given one open condition a open condition b and open condition c so there might be different way of diagnosing diagnosing this thing okay so we will see two uh, two way of uh, you know checking this particular thing so you have your dmm digital multimeter and you want to check the whether the particular connection from here to here is intact or not or it does it have any issue okay this wire to this wire so what you do you set your setting with the resistance and then you start checking one probe here on this point and one probe on this point and you are checking the continuity so one thing is that once when your wire is intact so in dmm you will have a beep sound but suppose if you do not have the beep sound then and you want to check from the resistance value so you know in this condition the resistance would be infinite okay so however this is the ideal condition of infinite but you will be having as a practical very large value of resistance so you should understand if you are getting very large value of resistance between this point to this point it means that your circuit is open i hope you got my point if you did not get this point then please comment in the comment box i will explain again similarly from this point to this point you want to check whether this my particular circuit is closed or open the same thing will happen the resistance value will be very high but if it is no if you do not have any issue and it is very much intact from one one point to this point then you will have a beep sound it is not a problem right I hope you understand suppose you do not want to measure from this particular uh, you know resistance you want to measure all the things from the voltmeter oh, sorry uh, on the basis of voltage so in dmm itself you have to set your uh, reading uh, as a volt voltage okay so as i told you that we are checking with the 12 volt battery so on this point i will be having the 12 volt correct now this particular one probe we will put on the ground and this particular point we will check whether this till here i am getting the 12 volt or not if i am not getting the 12 volt what does it mean that somewhere my circuit is getting open okay okay so i have told you earlier also so this was the case if you want to measure from voltmeter you have to keep one of the probe on the ground and you have to keep one of the probe on the uh, on the wire side on the positive side okay so let me show you so suppose my uh, this particular wire is open then what should be the voltage reading then it should be the volt zero volt if it is intact then what should be the my voltage reading 12 volt if you are working on the 12 volt system okay i hope you understand this particular point if you do not understand how it came zero in the case of uh, open in the case of open and in the case of okay okay means that this particular wire is okay from this point to this then you your voltmeter reading should be 12 volt then you please comment in the comment box i will explain why it is coming zero volt in the case of open and why it is coming on the 12 volt in the case of closed because you are having 12 volt here you you should get here 12 volt also okay similarly in case of this point also you should get the 12 volt here if it is uh, okay if it is open then you should get the 0 volt if it is open then you should get the 0 volt okay so till here you should get the 12 volt here you should get the 12 volt this but if you are checking on this point 
you should get the zero volt because everything will go in the drain okay everything will go in the grounding and if you are not getting here zero volt and some reading then what does it mean that your ground is not intact your ground is not properly grounded your this wire is have some issue if you are getting some value here on this point i hope you understand this how to check the open circuit from the voltmeter point of view from the resistance point of view if you have any confusion in this how to check the open circuit and voltage and resistance please uh, please comment in the comment box in few days we will have one practical session as well for this where i will show you that how this 12 volt is coming and zero volt is coming this is what i have already told you this is very important uh, you know uh, point or important concept when you are diagnosing on the uh, any circuit or any issue that voltage drop so you can measure the voltage drop between any two points any point in a circuit and the ground and across the component also like switches relay connector wires and cables okay so you should always remember this thing so in next video we will discuss about the fuse box and relay location and then we will go further in the system wise that how they, these systems are working so here you can see so we will discuss about these systems so what alternator is doing what is the meaning of battery mill why we are giving this connection okay so all these things we will go in detail uh, system wise so this is the uh, circuit of which system can you please comment in the comment box so thank you for your time and thank you for your support please like subscribe and comment if you like the content of this